a Fox and News exclusive. A possible break in a high profile unsolved murder case. Yeah, Lenise, an accused drug kingpin who briefly escaped jail yesterday, named as a person of interest in the murders of Tony and Layla Lewis. They're the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Now, our Shelby Myers is live at the Baldwin County Jail tonight. And Shelby, this person of interest is locked up there after sneaking out of the Clark County Jail last night. Yeah, that's right, Lenise, and that's just part of the story. The big news tonight is that for the first time since Tony and Layla Lewis were murdered inside of their home months ago, detectives telling me they're taking a long, hard look at a guy named Darren Southall. He's here tonight on federal drug charges, but as the Mobile Chief of Staff James Barber tells me, his long rap sheet could be getting even longer. Lord, I hope ain't nobody up in the house. A February night of horror caught on camera. Innocent grandparents Tony and Layla Lewis found dead inside their burned out Happy Hills home. Mobile investigators say Tony was shot to death before his house was set on fire. Their murders said to be retaliation for some beef their grandson and local rapper Honeycomb Brazy had with a rival group. For three months, Fox and News has continued to ask Mobile Police for any leads in the unsolved case. And new tonight, Mobile's Chief of Staff, James Barber, with a big one. He tells me this man, Darren Southall, is a person of interest in the Lewis murders. A law enforcement source adding to that, telling me investigators believe it may have been a murder for hire. Southall is a dangerous man, according to Barber, and his rap sheet backs that up. He's been in and out of Mobile and Baldwin County jails since the 90s. He's currently accused by the feds of being head of a multi-million dollar Gulf Coast drug ring that sold crack and powder cocaine, fentanyl, and other drugs. Last night, he escaped from the Clark County Jail for hours and was moved to the Baldwin County Correction Center when he was recaptured. Meanwhile, another twist in the story. Honeycomb Brazy, whose real name is Nashawn Jones, is facing some legal troubles of his own. Just last week, the local rapper was indicted on gun and drug charges. He's been locked in Metro since May 3rd. And we want to make it clear again, South Hall has not been charged with any crimes in relation to the Lewis's murder. Again, I'm told he is just a person of interest. Investigators meantime tell me that they believe multiple people are involved in the Lewis's murder. So if you know anything, anything at all that could help law enforcement solve this case, give them a call. Live tonight in Bay Manette, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.